How's it going, everyone? Uh, Blue Knight here, and today I'm going to be discussing the state of the Skylanders franchise. Um, I know a lot of you don't care for how Spyro was in Skylanders. Uh, which I don't really blame you. Because I don't, I don't know, Spyro looks more like a Salamander to me in this version, but, uh, me, I prefer Legend or Classic. Or in this case, Reignited. Uh, which is still to be officially announced for P PC and Nintendo Switch. But anyways, main point of the video, stay of Skylanders franchise. Now, according to what I'm hearing, there's going to be a mobile game releasing for the third quarter, second quarter or third quarter of this year. I don't remember. Uh, it's a mobile game. I don't know too much about that. I don't really keep mobile games, mostly of console games to keep up with. So as for Skylander 7, I don't think there's going to be another one uh, with Toys for Bob, creators of Skylanders, and developers of the Reignited Trilogy, Spyro games, but um, yeah, Spyro has been in development since 2015, same time, uh, let's see, uh, Supercharger, Skylander Superchargers, which is Skylanders 5, was in development. Um, and so was Crash. Crash was also being developed at the same time. However, we didn't know about that because there's other new code names. Spyro's being Project Falcon, which until recently was called Falcon McBob. Uh, so, now, Skylanders is doing pretty well on Netflix, with Skylanders Academy, for already two seasons. Also, it being one of the top ten animated shows on Netflix, along with some other DreamWorks shows. Um, season three, I think, is going to be the final season, because the showrunner for Skylanders Academy said that he doubts that there's going to be a season four, and he's been doing more time doing another show. Now, I don't have the exact tweets in front of me. Neither do I know them. But, uh... As for season 3, I believe it's going to be the last. I mean, that's typically how long these type of shows go on for. is three seasons. Sonic Boom, we don't even know if it's going to get past season 2. Now, I think season 3 is going to work. But that's not for this video, it's for another video. I'll just use an example. Pac-Man Goes to Adventures. Okay, but alright, I mainly only care for the ghosts, but it's not my point. Had three seasons, no confirmation that it's cancelled. There hasn't been any new episodes since, uh... John 15? You don't need the holiday specials for a release on Netflix. But, that's an example. In Angry Birds Tunes, which ain't actually a TV show, it's a mini web series, or webisodes, if you want to call it that, I don't know what they're called, had three seasons and uh, never confirmed anything else. We've had Angry Birds Stella and Bad Piggies, not Bad Piggies, Piggy Tales continue uh, since, except season three consistent of the animations from the movie. Um, no, but for Skylander seems to be falling apart though. Ever since Swap um, Trap Team, the fourth game, came out, sales have started to go down. And Imaginators is the worst selling game in the series. Uh, I don't know how well it was compared to the other games, but I heard it's the worst selling. Even adding Crash to it and Cortex didn't even seem to help matters. And including Spyro in the main story. Um, I'm guessing because of the price of Toys to Life is getting so expensive. I mean, really, I mean, not only does it take up shelf space, uh, but also counts up in your wallet because of the, well, the price of toys. I mean, Walmart right now is having everything on clearance. The starter packs are going to 37, and almost all the figures on the shelf are gone. A couple of them are left at really cheap clearance prices. 
and so far, no announcement of a new game. I mean, it's been a year and a half since the game came out. Uh... So, yeah, not surprising that it's all on clearance, because that's how long games usually stay in print. Or publication. But, still, the fact that we haven't had a Skyrim 7 announcement, never, that might change E3. Well, I doubt it, because of the Spyro Reignited trilogy. That's been developed since 2015. That could be why. That could affect affected how Skylander sales have been doing since 2015. I mean, Trap Team is in development for a year longer, but still. Um... Honestly, I can see why Green Knight Trilogy is doing so well with all the pre-orders of really exceeded expectations. I'm guessing way more than Skylanders ever did. Uh, so, with that, that tells me Skylanders might be put on hold or completely done for altogether once the new mobile game of Skylanders Academy Season 3 releases. Or final season, if you want. But, but honestly, I, even with the Skyrim's Academy design of Spyro, I like it, but it's not the Spyro I'm used to. I'm used to Legend and Classic, or Reunited. Okay, Classic, but I never played, obviously, nobody's played Reunited yet, except the developers, but, um, I like Reunited. Year of Dragon was my favorite game, I cannot wait to see how it looks. But my, my point is to stay up the Skylanders franchise. Um, I think, unless it goes to the traditional game route, loses its choice to life, I don't see it as uh, continuing. You know, I think it might be dead, like uh, infinite, like recent Toys to Life games, Lego Dimensions and Disney Infinity. Both, well, Infinity ran for three years and got canceled. Disney shut down the company, Avalanche, and, uh, decided to, uh, uh, well, then Warner Bros. picked the studio back up and started developing games again. The Liger Dimensions, Traveler's Tales, decided to was too expensive, no, this is Disney's same reason, and it became too expensive to do the games and the figures, all these individual Lego pieces, uh, so they decided to stop. Now, they will still support the game online. It was going to have a third year. Lego Dimensions was going to have a third year, but it never went through. Because of the expenses. Even adding Sonic, again, like Crash and Skylanders, was not enough to boost the sales of any. Uh, even though Sonic was the best selling, fastest selling pack fair was. Now, to be honest, I, I really like the idea of a Lego Sonic. I mean, Wow, that is the... Actually, one of the things I wanted to get... Now, I don't usually like LEGO. But Sonic LEGO, I mean, alright. The same as one of Crash and Cortex is Skylanders figures. Oh, I really wanted to get that. I already have Spyro and Cinder. Eh, series 2, but, uh... I use them for a Skylanders 3DS game, but... Not so good compared to the I don't sure I like to play Imaginators, but uh, I don't know, I don't think I'd rather get the Insane Trilogy or the Big Night Trilogy in that case. Uh let's see. That's pretty much all I got. Now, if you go to Idri's website and do like uh, either Sony or Nintendo yeah. uh one of these other companies, I can't remember which one it was, but I think it was Sony, had a Toys to Life category under their list. And that's kind of interesting, because almost all Toys to Life is not even... Uh, it's not even around anymore. Besides Skylanders, which I officially cancelled. Then you got some other one, I can't remember her name, uh, coming into the Toys to Life, sp Toys to Life space. But I think Skylanders is not going to continue. Unless it ditches for Toys to Life. In the portal. Now the Switch version at least you can... Use the figures and it'll save your figures and you don't have to keep using them. I like that. I like that function. 
Uh, that way, you can possibly get rid of your figures later, but, uh, you don't get your money back worth. Big game, you probably can't. I mean, most game places probably won't even take them because, uh, they got so many. Anyways, uh, not much info on Skylanders. I know in our Activision's new first quarter, I think, report, Skylanders was not mentioned outside of the new mobile game Skylanders Season 3. No console game, or Skylanders 7. So, I think after this year, Skylanders is going to end. That's just, I think, I think they're going to. I think they see the popularity of Classic Spyro now that they're not going to want to continue Skylanders. Um, and once again, I believe it's going to do just as well as Crash in Zincope. So with that, guys, that's the end of the video. That's all I got. Until something else comes up, I'll keep checking. Um, yeah. So, if you guys want, you can keep up over on Twitter. Uh, me on keep up with me on Twitter, over my blog, uh, you can join in the conversation over on Sonic Stadium where I discuss these things, uh, you can donate a contribution over on Patreon to help support my channel grow into a substantial online news source, uh, and if you guys like what I'm doing here, or leave, or like, comment, or subscribe, uh, for more videos and stuff coming coming your way at the speed of sound. And um, one last thing, though, but if you guys want, I can do other videos outside of news, like talking about what if stuff, like uh, what if Sonic Ma uh, Sonic Boom did get a TV show to end the series after season three or before season three, stuff like that. Uh, if you guys want. Alright, it's like Uber TV discussion video. Uh, I like that. Um, so if you guys like or want more videos like that, I can do it. It just takes a long get those up. So with that, guys, that's the end of the video, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.